Moving on, people stuck in Afghanistan are growing desperate to leave the country. This comes as the U.S. confirms that the evacuation process will be concluded next week. The visuals on your screen were shot outside the Kabul airport on Wednesday. People were seen standing in knee-deep sewage water. They were waving their identity documents at foreign troops in hopes of being allowed to go beyond the barbed wire fence. People waited as a number of military planes carrying evacuees took off from the airfield. Remember, the Taliban wants the Western nations to complete the evacuation process by August 31st. This has built pressure on the United States to ramp up operations to get as many people out of Kabul as possible. Several countries have not yet revealed exactly when they plan to end the evacuation operation in Kabul. Meanwhile, a prominent Afghan women's rights activist and former mayor Zarifa Ghaffari has expressed pain of being uprooted from her home country. In an interview with the Associated Press, Kafari spoke about how she felt as she and her family prepared to fly out of Kabul after a harrowing effort to reach the airport. I can't explain it with the words. And I am not sure my tears will be able to explain it. The fear, the feeling, and the pain that I have. And I had at the moment. It was always so hard, and it is still so hard. Like, can you imagine? I miss my country. I miss roads full of people. I miss streets of noise. I, 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 I miss everything. I miss my office. I miss my colleagues. I miss those happy, warm heads who are just all around the city and who are like, just there. The 29-year-old has safely reached Germany. She criticized U.S. President Joe Biden for his decision to withdraw military forces from Afghanistan after 20 years. She also called him out for wanting to conclude the evacuation process. She called it the worst decision anyone can make. It's the worst decision anyone can make it. It's not only Afghans, normal civilians, simple like all those who are like there, but there are too many allies working for, for foreign forces, for foreign government. There are too many people working for previous government which are in risk. There are too many Indian soldiers that they are, you know, so Taliban are searching for them and killing them one by one, house by house to house. So I think this is the worst decision can make anyone. And I, I'm, I'm really shocked why the world is like this. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.